Hello. In this general introduction, you will see for yourself just how quick and easy it is to design a professional template like this using Bartender. A template is the general term we use for the design of a label, card, tag, or any other item you can print with Bartender. As we begin, notice how template design with Bartender is based on simple, obvious mouse motions. To add our first text object, let's click on the text button in the toolbar and select a text object that fits our needs. Most template objects start out with sample data like this so that you can see what your printed document might look like as quickly as possible. Simply click on the selected text to enter edit mode and type in your desired data, followed by the enter key. To change the text size, you can type a value into the toolbar at the top of the screen or simply drag one of the selected object's handles. Bartender supports an incredible variety of fonts, including all Windows OpenType and TrueType, Adobe fonts, and most printer based fonts. All newly created objects start out selected so you can easily make changes. To deselect, click in any blank location on the template. Before we continue, Let's take a closer look at some of the most essential functions of the Bartender screen. Every single Bartender function is accessible through these pull down menus. In addition, for efficiency, the most important and frequently used functions are immediately available using the toolbar buttons. The toolbox consists of the components and data sources property panes which organize your available data sources and a variety of pre-designed components into convenient lists. A single click lets you select different components and data sources. Notice how you can quickly resize the different parts of the bartender screen to meet your design philosophy and priorities. Let's help organize our design by drawing in some dividing lines for the template. To make changes to multiple objects at once, Hold down the control key while clicking on each object to select them. Let's use the line and shape toolbar to adjust the line thickness to meet our needs. Whether it is easier to draw lines early or late in the design process depends both on personal preference and your template design. Now, let's make a barcode. Bartender comes with more than 400 ready to use barcode components, including support for more than 50 barcode symbologies and a dozen international barcode standards. Because some barcode standards mandate a particular barcode size and specific text styles, we include ready to use versions of many of these combinations here in the Select Barcode dialog so you don't have to design them from scratch. Let's add a GS1128 barcode. As with text, newly created barcodes initially contain only sample data. Double click on the barcode to edit its data and make other changes. 
As we select the data sources pane and replace the data to be displayed in the barcode, notice that the bartender properties dialog no longer requires you to click OK before you see your changes in the template design area. Now, let's change the typeface and size of the font used for the barcode's text. For the template we are building, the position of the human readable characters for this barcode must be changed. Let's resize the barcode to better fit the template. Next, let's add a graphic of a company logo. For maximum flexibility, graphics can be linked from an external graphic file or database. However, for now, let's simply embed a graphic inside the template. Select Insert from File to begin the graphic import. Bartender supports an incredible variety of graphic types. Once you select your graphic, press the Open button and click in the template where you would like the graphic placed. Now, let's add another barcode. Your recently used barcodes are displayed in the drop down menu so they can be quickly selected again. However, because we want to create a different barcode this time, select the More Barcodes option. You can place a two dimensional barcode, such as Data Matrix, just as easily as a one dimensional barcode. Since we want to change more than just the default embedded data, let's double click to bring up the barcode properties dialog. Different options are available to be customized for each type of barcode. Barcode width can be changed directly with the mouse or by modifying the appropriate dialog property. Some two-dimensional barcodes only allow you to change the height indirectly by altering the X dimension or the quantity of data. In this case, because of the very small screen area used in this video, the Bartender Properties dialog prevents you from seeing the change in the template design area until you click on the Close button. Remember, however, when you run Bartender in a larger window, it is easy to see your template objects update as soon as you change their properties. Now, let's add some more text. When you like the way an object looks, you can save some time by copying it instead of creating a new one from scratch. In addition to using the Windows copy and paste functions, you can copy in one motion by pressing the control key and simply dragging off a copy of the existing object. Now, since we don't need to change the font style or size, simply type the desired text.
Next, let's add a font-based graphic. In contrast to the external file-based graphic we imported earlier. To add a symbol graphic, create a symbol font text object from the text toolbar button. Use the font drop-down menu to select a font you would like to use characters from. Then, double-click on the symbol to add it to your document. And finally, move and resize the symbol font character to fit your needs. In addition to importing graphics already stored on your computer and in databases, Bartender also has built-in access to a large online resource of royalty-free clipart. Simply select Insert from Clipart Collection from the Picture Toolbar button to display the Clipart browser. Type a word or phrase describing the image you are looking for into the blank field, followed by the Enter key. To import one of the graphics into your template, simply double-click on it. Then, click in the template where you would like to place the image and resize it, if necessary, to fit your needs. Bartender lets you quickly and easily select and create complex shapes. Select the shape icon on the toolbar to display a list of available shapes. Choose your desired shape. Then, click in the template where you would like to place the shape. To add a fill to your shape, double click to bring up the Shape Properties dialog. Most bartender objects can have their borders and interiors changed to any color you want. You can even specify a gradient. In a real-world application, you would now use the Data Source Setup Wizard to select and configure a connection to your database. Then, you would use the Data Source pane of the toolbox to connect your template objects to the desired database fields. For more information and step-by-step -step instructions on setting up Bartender to read from a database, please visit the training video section on our website. Thank you for watching.